we are testing out the uh, ZVE10. Let's see. So we're headed out to test out the Sony ZV-E10 and we're gonna have some fun with the little one back here while we do it. You ready to have some fun? Yes! Good. We gotta go pick up uh, a couple things and then we will be ready to go. So let's go. So we had to make a quick pit stop, pick up some water, some candy for the baby. I want one more piece of candy. Another piece? Okay, hold on. <laughs> so we're gonna go to the park um, and let the baby run around, get on some of the slides, the swings, the different things, and we're just gonna test uh, how the ZV E10 does with that. So just putting it to a normal pace like uh, somebody will with a vlog. Of course, I got a four-year-old back here, so things are a little bit different. What are you singing, baby? Oh, McDonald. Oh, McDonald. How does that go? Uh, oh, McDonald. Oh, fun. shoot. Dolphin mailbox? Yeah. We're gonna go see the dolphin mailbox. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> um, we're doing everything that we like. And there's a dolphin mailbox! The dolphin mailbox. That's the man. So I think all around, um, this is a solid vlogging camera. Very solid. I actually enjoy it a lot it makes you want to vlog to be honest with you because it's so simple to run it's so simple to do it's just you hit the button and it works you flip the screen and it flips what do you think is it simple to vlog with this camera yeah crazy so overall i definitely will recommend the ZV E10. I want to say one of the best features about this camera is is hands down the screen. Um, you don't realize how much you love it until you actually have it. I had gotten used to the A6400 with the flip up screen and the problem with that screen is just how it flips up and I didn't realize how much of a hassle it was until I used this screen. And The problem comes in because after you get your mic relocation bar from small small rig. The mic is off to the side, but now you have the mic 
here and your screen is just to the left of it and every time you flip the camera around then you have to reach around that mic and flip up the screen whereas right here if I want to flip this around I literally just flip the camera around and flip the screen in two seconds and for some reason having to do that move on the a6400 just throws you off mentally because you're looking at the screen you're looking to see if you accidentally touched anything and changed any settings and it's it could throw you off it, it, it will work i'm not saying it won't work because i've used it for vlogging before but the zve 10 makes it much easier the other thing that's really a selling point for this in my opinion is the red light and the ring around the screen this for some reason is a no-brainer i'm not sure why all cameras don't have this feature um, but it's really helpful to know that you're recording for sure because you get this red border around the screen and that really makes a huge 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 difference and i don't know if i'll even be able to go back to using the a6400 for vlogging purposes now if i'm doing a commercial shoot or something like that that's different because i'm going to be monitoring totally different uh, i'm not even going to be using the internal recording of the camera i'm using a separate monitor but when you're doing a vlog and you want something quick and you want it to and you want to see all of your levels and everything right away really quickly the zve 10 hands down is one of the best uh, i haven't used a lot of the other cameras uh, as far as vlogging and things like that. But I can tell you that Sony has done a great job with this camera. And I'm not just saying that because I bought it. Sony didn't give me this camera. But I, I looked at this camera and I thought, you know, I think this may be a good purchase. Because there's some other things I want to do uh, with this camera. But I definitely will say, if you're looking to step into a vlogging camera, uh, even over a phone, I'm going to say this is better just because... Of the options that you have um, the the different lenses and then it's not just a vlogging camera you can do other things with it uh, you can turn it into a fully manual camera and and shoot commercials if you want you can hook a monitor up to this um, I'm not sure they have one yet but I'm sure there's gonna be a cage from small rig at some point where you can do even more uh, advanced things with it so overall I'm gonna give this camera out of a 10 a solid 8 um because it's just it's really good it's really handy and uh i liked it hopefully this vlog has been helpful to you um and hopefully i went over enough stuff with you so that you know that it's worth it and that you should do it and you should pull the trigger on it if you're thinking about it uh, i went with the white one because a lot of the black ones were out of stock but now that i have the white one i think i kind of like it it's a little bit different you can always get skins for it and things like that anyway but hopefully this was helpful to you and thank you to those who have been watching and supporting Purpose Lens. Greatly appreciate it because it lets me know that I'm helping you guys. And until then, I'll holler at y'all next time. I'm out. Peace.